Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. So, last time we were in part of this adventurer's guild, or we came here, and we got a couple of quests to go to some places to get some items. We'll, we'll look at that later. We do, however, have our stronghold, which has just come back to us and told, oh, we've, we're being attacked. Uh, the Bleak Hall Bandits from the Northern Wilds have been reported crossing the East Plains of Cade Nua. They'll be at our doorstep any day. Is it manual resolve or auto resolve? I have no idea. Um, but we built our western uh, bar uh, barbicane, which is good. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, so we can build something else off of that. What do we want to build? We have a lot of money, so we can build whatever we want. Uh, presumably, we might want to build some more security. Uh, how about we build another wall? Sure, that seems fine. And then once we get enough security, we can start uh, like building some of these other things that give us some more uh, prestige. Um, I'm going to see what Auto Resolve does. Okay, cool. Hey. Let's get out of here and go somewhere else. So, we have been to the Goose and Fox, we went to the Thieves, we've been to the Marketplace, we've been to the Expedition Hall, and now we're kind of moving our way along this way, I think. Okay. Uh, does it being at night cause us any trouble here? Um, I don't know if it should. Let, let's see if the Marketplace is open at night. Uh, yeah, okay. So these guys aren't on a timer, which is all I really want to know there. So we don't have to, like, come out during the daytime or anything. Uh, that's another, uh, Kickstarter character. What we got in here? Ah, beer. Cool. The shields are, uh, being battered and scarred in long go battles. Okay. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything back there. We'll see if any of these buildings are openable. Well, we know that one is. Oh, there's a cat. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so this one is part of a quest. This one is Pernasic's house. Now, Pernasic was the quest, one of these, his old self. So, something unusual is happening in the house in Copper Lane. A man named Pernasic is acting strange. So, yeah, Pernasic gave Karen a ring um, because he was going to marry her, but she doesn't want to marry Pernasic, and we have to go find out what's up with him. He's been hanging out with the wrong sort. Okay. So who have we got here? Mercenary, couple of addicts. Okay, so a whole bunch of addicts. What's this? A couple of crude beds have been improvised from an assortment of tattered blankets and pillows that dribble some black... Dribbles of some black dark liquid uh, staining the fabric. Oh, hey. interesting. So presumably they're all, like, just high? Is that right? What's happening? Hey. Am I imagining this? Okay. Hello? Feel free to make yourself comfortable down here at top floors off limits. Hey. Okay, so Pernasic's house has been turned into kind of a mercenary slash drug den. There's Pernasic. Okay. There's something we can't open. Someone's peeled the labels from these bottles. They're stuffed with a dark, gungy pulp that offers a pungent odor. Ah, so maybe not drugs, just alcohol. The guard holds up a hand as you approach. You turn right back around. The lower floor is all yours, but nobody goes upstairs. Uh, what's up there? Uh, the guard shakes his head. What do you think? The bedroom, that's all private things I'm saying. Don't go creeping around other people's rooms. Hey, um, any chance you can look the other way? The guard narrows his eyes and takes the money. I do like the view over this way. He turns around. Do, 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 do. Going upstairs. Yep, he totally ignore Pernasek. No reason to go there. Okay. Okay. And what does the flame sneaky, reveal? Sneaky, sneaky. You know what? I think this might be our opportunity to actually be a stealth character. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, what we got? We've got the Deerwood. I think we've read Deerwood Part 3. Yeah. Uh, I'll double check, though. In our stash, in our books, we have... Uh, can we just sort by item type, I guess? Two, three... Oh, no, we haven't, we haven't read three before. Oh, okay. After the Broken Stone War, the Deerwood would see peace and prosperity for 21 years. Aside from the occasional slave uprising aboard a dispute, nothing of any note happened until uh, 2652A1. Some of the Deerwoodian earls, tired of being restricted by treaties and encouraged by imperial sources, defied the decrees and actively sent people to loot the ruins in the Deerwood. Response from the Glenfathens was not immediate, but when it came, it was bloody and brutal. There was a slave uprising, and Reg, uh, 
resumed control of his guerrilla fighters. A contingent of Delicman joined the forces as well, making the fights in the forest even more dangerous for the Deerwoodian soldiers. The Wooden soldiers. Endrang, then too far far too old to lead Deerwood in the war, sent his son Admeth to deal with the situation. Admeth, showing the same tactical prowess as his father, set fire to the forest at the isk U River and then blocks the forces from retreating from the Inferno. Some of the Glen Fathans escaped, but thousands would die in the blaze. Rex is captured and sent to uh, to holding in New Hemar. This, uh, this goes on. I assume that means it should be this. This goes on for several months, and Admeth uses the same tactic many times to flush Glenfathens and Delicman from the battlefield. The entire war lasts less than a year. The Deerwood eventually wins by a terrible price. This conflict would come to be known as the War of the Black Trees. Tragedy struck the, deer, struck the Deerwood in 2654, when Endrang, whose health had been waning, succumbed and passed into the cycle. Wretched, who had been developing a begrudging respect uh, for his constant adversary over the years they had fought, sent Admeth his sincere condolences from the captivity in New Hemoir. Admeth assumed his father's place as Gref over the Deerwood. The other earls disliked this development and began publicly uh, rebuking Admeth's decrees. In 2655, Admeth, tired of the problems caused by the recalcitrant earls, um, but having the support of the new Valian ducks, uh, dukes probably, and the common folk of the Deerwood, having saved them from the Glen Fathens, delivers an ultimatum, ultimatum to the Verconian of Edir. He demands to be made Gref Palantine. This move would give him authority and power over all the earls, their holdings, and their titles. Deerwood would become a Palantine instead of a Grefdom, the Fernicoin, who did not want to deal with the rebellions while trying to establish a hold on the Vorlis trade network in Redzerus, uh, begrudgingly agreed to Admeth's demands. Admeth used this new power to bring the Earls in line. As a trade-off for being given the power, Admeth put money and resources into all of Deerwood's ports to increase uh, shipping traffic. In return, this increased the Fernicoin's income. Under Admeth's rule, the Deerwood saw seven productive and profitable years. In 2662, he did what he uh, he had been he did what he had been tried for. Mi okay, in 2662, he did what had been tried for many years without success, bring slavery to an end in the Deerwood. He negotiated the Ten Years Treaties, so called because it had been ten years since the War of the Black Trees. A timeline was established in which the slaves could be released. The owners would be compensated with money and lands for each slave slave released. If they did not comply, the slaves would be taken, and a fine would be levied against the owner. In return, the Glenfathans would open trade with the Deerwood and cede some of their territories to the Deerwoodian, uh, Deerwooden government, in practice meaning they would stop contesting the presence of those who lived and ruled there. Hundreds of Coopers? Coopers? I'm not entirely sure what that's meaning. Attempted to rebel against this. Um, I guess that's another type of people. Um, Admeth, expecting such a reaction, reacted accordingly, and the rebellion was quickly crushed. His agents then spread propaganda through the populace, making the Cooper's Rebellion and its instigators seem far worse than they truly were. His tactic worked, and there would be no more trouble. I mean, apart from the next six books that we have. Okay. Back to sneaking as a rogue. Um. Doesn't seem like there's too much else here. Ooh, there's a bookcase. Or like a drink case. Some money in it. Okay, so we know that there's an enemy in here, right? He's these guys. I'm gonna quick save. And then I'm gonna try and sneak around them. I, oh my we instantly got spotted as we walked in there. Yeah, okay. So we know what's upstairs. I don't think hey. we wanna fight it. I think we wanna go talk to Pernasek first. But I wanted to know what was there before we went and talked to Pernasek. So there's a whole bunch of, of angry mercenaries upstairs. Okay. Thanks for letting us in there. Um, let's go talk to Pernasek. Hello. The man before you flashes a toothy and ra rather unpleasant grin. Well now, new face. Welcome, friend. Name is Pernasek. And this, he gestures to the room around you, this is my humble abode and a place of business. 
I do hope you're here to do some business. He glances at a nearby guard. Um, let's try our perception first. It seems like a lot of guards for one man. You must be popular. Pronosac raises a brow. Sure, right. Very perceptive. This business attracts some of the less pleasant types. Sometimes the clientele get a little pushy. And every so often, someone even turns out to be snooping into things they shouldn't. And lessons have been taught. He, his face shivers with a quick, unreadable emotion. I'm sure you're too smart to get wrapped up in all of that, of course. I keep it simple. If you have the coin, I have the Seth. You're free to make use of the premises, so long as you don't do anything stupid, and you don't go get to tangle with the other customers now. Pernasek claps his hands together. What can I get you? What's a Seth? You serious? Pernasek eyes with suspicion, then disbelief. Seth's work every pound, my friend. It's incredible. It lets you see your own soul. And you're looking at Defiance Bay's first and foremost Seth merchant. Well, let's see what you have in stock. Okay. Um, Seth. Remove Seth Crash. Uh, I assume that's a thing that you get for not... Okay. Ah, okay. So what happens is it increases your attack speed significantly and your move speed. But lowers your resolve and then you get a crash at the end. So it's kind of like you get withdrawal at the end. Okay, unless you keep taking it. Seth can be traced back to the provisioners in the Valian Republics where the markets for the plant in question enjoyed rapid rising demand. Most clientele chewed or inhaled, Seth is infamous for the near catatonic state in which it often places its adherents. Those who use it claim that the drug gives them a sense of urgency and meaning lost when the effects fade. More colourful accounts claim the drug allows one to look within themselves and witness the sight of their own soul. I mean, we're going to buy some. Um, I think we'll buy one. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Uncover what happened hey. at his house. Interesting. We didn't give his ring. We didn't give Pernasecker his ring. Okay. I want to take some... I think we want to take the Seth. Okay. Ready when you are. Um, I have to put it in here, I think. There we go. I would like to... Just say the word. Uh, do I need Ready to when you refresh are. the list here? There we go. I'd like to take some Seth. Not a problem. Yeah. Hey. I see absolutely fine. Maybe it's the Seth crash that yeah. causes us problems? Mm, nah, I seem fine. Not a problem. Cool. Hey. Let's talk to Pernasek. Hello. Uh, well, we'll finish our quest. Kena asked that uh, me to give you this. Pernasek takes the ring and turns around to his fingers. Nas, what for? Um, you don't recognize the wedding band you gave Kinra? Pernasek laughs. Oh yeah, see it now. She's making a statement, isn't she? Good reasons to her then. Sorry I ever spent the coin to begin with. Now, is that all? Hmm. Um. Yeah, it seems a difficult thing for you to forget, giving your grandmother's ring to someone. Maybe she's not worth remembering, eh? Pernasek snorts. While you're playing lapdog for her and all, why don't you go back and tell her to keep clear of here? Um. Yeah, she seemed to care for you. Why are you doing this? Plenty of stars in the sky. Tell her to go set up the salty mast if she's feeling lonely. Pernasek shrugs. Me and her are done. How dare you hit your own fiancé? How can you live with yourself? She was asking for it, Pernasek growls. Sort of like you right now. Maybe you ought to quit digging in affairs and don't concern you. Me? I got business to get back to. Doors that way. Yeah, I don't plan on leaving until I find out what's going on here. Pernasek's eyes narrow. Then you won't be leaving at all, friend. I was tired of wearing this face anyhow. He raises his voice. Gods, to me! Um, okay. Yep. Okay, I think we could have handled that better, but... Okay, first things first, go knock over that guy. Because that when you knock over that guy, he'll um, be weak. He'll just be on the floor. He won't be able to do anything. Next one, Durant. Uh I think the accuracy buff is a really good one to do at the start of fights. I think this is just really, really useful. So we'll do that. Um... We probably want to use, um, 
Mr. whatever his name, Aloth, sees. Head in the corner here. Do you want to try and take out mercenaries with them, or is there something else we want to do? Um, I mean, he does a lot of damage. Yeah. Or do we want to just use... I think we'll just use him to attack to start with. Same with us. Wait. No, we need to switch to a weapon, look at where we are. Then we have to attack that mercenary with blinding shot. Or uh, our blinding strike. Canna? I know he has his ranged on, but I think we want to switch to melee versus melee. Um, we'll need to do that, apparently, in the thing there. And then Sagini is in a really bad spot, so she needs to try and just not be there, I think. Uh, or, or she can she can switch to her hatchet and attack. And her little wolf. Okay, it'll attack that mercenary as well. So Sagini's in a bad spot. I think that means that Kana should probably switch and try and hit that mercenary because that'll stop her getting flanked. Okay, I'll pause, pause. I just want to switch one to the different... Oh, I can't change chat right yet? Okay, fine. Um, what's he casting? Some sort of poison spell? Um, right. Hit that one. I don't care that you had to disengage. Uh, right. You definitely want a Holy Radiance after your current cast. Okay. Okay, not too bad. We took some damage, but that mercenary is almost dead, and this mercenary is almost dead. Um, we all have Sickened on us, which lowers our stats, but apart from that, we're, we're doing alright. I think we're fine. Uh, that's the wolf, I think, that can't actually get in to attack anything. Um, <laughs> right, me melee versus melee, then switch to, I guess switch to your gun, because you're not really in spot to do anything else, and then shoot a uh, Nybrid. Okay. Good, good, good. Stop! Nybrid staggers back, holding his bloody hand in front of him. I give up! Just leave and I'll go peacefully, alright? Um... Ooh, we could send him to our dungeon, or we can say too late. I mean, we do have a dungeon. You can go peacefully to my dungeon, and that will give us a chance to find out more about him. He flinches, regret already building behind his eyes. That's my only choice. Um, okay, so we still have to fight the rest. Oh, okay. Um, yes, Eddie, you want to knock that one over try and kill it. We want to switch to our crossbow because we're not really in range to hit anything else. We'll probably shoot that one. Canna probably want to switch back to his sword, hit this one. And then, which one? This is Durant. Um, as we might want to pillar those ones. Okay. Um, you're all right. You can second wind. Interesting. Uh, are you stunned or something? Hmm. Don't know why you can't use second wind. Um, a loss. I think we're okay. Yeah. Cool. On pause. So we knocked over that one, which allows Eddier to get in some hits on it. Uh, Eddier actually shouldn't have his defender stance on because he's currently not like attacking multiple targets. Uh, okay. Um, which one's this? Kana? Kana, can you get out of there? No, okay. In which case, you should use your gun. And you should step back. Okay. Ooh, what happened to that one? That one went invisible. Okay. Weird. Wolf, can you get out? Nope. Wolf, can you attack this one? Nope. Okay, so everyone's attacking Sagini. That's not good at all. Durant, uh, can we get a healing for you? On, uh, Sagini. There we go. Something like that. Good, good. Sagini is kind of trapped. I think we might want to try disengaging. Yeah, that's working. Get Durant in there. Uh, get Durant in there. Sagini, switch to your bow and arrow. Uh, we probably want to switch to our sword to get in around there. A loth can't see anything, so you attack. Okay, cool. Sagini, uh, shoot that one. Ready. Now we're behind this guy, stab him. Right. We got him. 
a loth. Uh, turn on your guardian stance again and then try and get in here. Wolf, try and get out. Right, that's better. That's better. We now have the right people in the right spots. Aloth, get out of that I corner. Dead on. Uh, try and attack this one. Everybody attack this one. Who has the ranged weapons? Right, you need to put your ranged weapon on. You could probably use a spell, but I'm not going to get you to use a spell just now. Okay, cool. That looks good. Everyone attack this mercenary. Oh, that was, that was tough. Okay. Uh, let's grab all of our stuff. All of this loot. Great. Hey. Great loot. Um, and what does the flame Just seeing if there's anything else here. Doesn't look like it. What's this? Uh, the Book of Alien Love sonnet says a dedication on the first page to my beloved Kirna. Yeah, it seems unlikely that... Um, I think Pernasek is dead, basically, is what I'm getting at here. Addix, hello? Pernasek always has the best supply. Uh, I guess not anymore. I shall be discreet. Um, we can sneak around here because there's going to be nobody attacking us apart from this mercenary who's just here. Wait. Okay. Well, this isn't a great spot for him. Yeah. He should die very quickly. Can we camp here? I guess we should be able to camp here. Uh, is he going to die? Yeah, good. We should camp. Cannot camp on combat. Hey. Fair enough. How Let's may pick I up this... Uh, guys, stuff, and I'd like to camp. Camping is not allowed Indeed. in this area. Okay, do hey. you want to leave and go to the inn? Uh, I think we have enough. We can go. Up, we can go upstairs. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get these mercenaries now. These were aggro to us anyway, but we might find out more about Pernasek and what happened to him. Okay, attack this mercenary. All the ones at the back, stop sneaking. Big mercenary at the front. Just hit him with everything. Uh, are we on... Oh, we're not ranged. There we go. Back switch to ranged. That's why our attack speed's a little slow. Um, are you having trouble attacking on my lot? Yeah, looks like a lot is having a little bit of trouble attacking. That's fine. Uh, Holy Radiance. Definitely. Um, all the ones at the back, I want you to shoot this one. There we go. That's doing well. Shoot him again. Shoot him again. These mercenaries have a lot of health. Okay. Um, this one, I guess. Uh, you should bubble yourself. Uh, withdraw on yourself, if possible. There we go. Yep. That, that means that we can't be hit. Wolf should be attacking this one. Just to give extra crits to Sagini. And then we'll all attack this one. Uh, Sagini's thing does extra damage, doesn't it? Our wounding strike. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, it does extra damage. We should probably be using that a lot Ready, more. Watcher. There we are. Cool. No problems. Uh, pick up the loot. Ooh. Wow, whole bunch of good stuff. All of it not very good, though, because we currently have other stuff on. Then a rusty bronze key. Cool, so that was a fight that you had to do nice if you come up quiet. here. So I assume it opens that door. Hey. Oh, no. I I'm suppose our mechanics are high enough. We could have just gone through the door. Ooh, what's in here? A cupboard. Uh, okay. Not too much. Someone rummaged through this uneven row of books in a hurry. Jars are chipped and cracked as if knocked to the ground and set back in place. Interesting. Uh, a book called Adirian Dialects. The sun does not set on the Adirian language. Those of us who commune with this proud language, or some derivation of it, populate every corner of Eora. Most of us who can speak this wonderful tongue know it as Adirian, but scholars and those obsessed with correctness often qualify it as modern or contemporary Adirian. This is to contrast uh, the language you and I speak today with Eld Adirian, the old elven language that was spoken in the Adirian Empire back before the pioneer settlers of the Deerwood built their longships. If Eld Adirian could be considered the mother of the living Adirian, the language of Hillspeak could be seen as Adirian's cousin. Hillspeak is fading from common use, but many of the elves, especially the older ones in the Adirian heartland, still use this dialect. 
Whether you know it or not, you can read these words. You can understand hail speak. It's almost identical to Adirian, but includes a large vocabulary of archaic words that have fallen out of use in today's Adirian. When you hear bards sing old Adirian poems, there are often lines of chorus that sound like uh, melodic nonsense inserted uh, to complete rhymes. These are often instances of words that are lost from our common tongue but still used in heel speak. While heel speak is familiar to speakers of so called modern Adirian, the same cannot be said of our language's predecessor. Ild Adirian is a dead language spoken by academics but not used in any major community. Ild Adirian words are often familiar to Adirian readers, but the words use uh, orthography, orthoth orthography? that has uh, since been abandoned. Unfamiliar accents uh, marks abound. For example, Ed Adirian contains dithongs or diathongs? Diathongs? I don't know. Uh, that have no place in the modern Adirian, as well as a few tricky consonant clusters. A creates a EA sound that sounds like the colloquial sal salutation. EA, EO sounds like EO. This sound is still used in the modern uh, word EORA. E is pronounced EA, used such as in RE, UA, and UE. Both create OO sounds as in loop. E sounds like E as in B. Giz sounds like the consonant Y as in U. Sk sounds like sh, so you'd pronounce sk, uh, scoop, like shoop, shop. It k sounds like duk at the end of the word, like hedge. Uh, this doesn't really come across, I'm realizing this won't come across very well, me reading this out loud, but you get the idea. It is not uncommon for names uh, of Adirian, Deerwoodian, and Red Serens to come from. Eld Adirian, some examples. Aldwin is pronounced Aldween because of the long vowel and sound on the Y. Durnish is pronounced Durnish because of the sk cluster sounds like a sh sound. Yesur is pronounced Yestrur on account of the your consonant cluster. Sledged is pronounced Sledge. Thersha uh, is pronounced Thersha. Ushgrim is and not Uskgrim. Ingmar, uh, leading with a vowel sound. Okay, cool. Hopefully you got the idea. <laughs> it doesn't really translate over. We can open this door for the key. Okay, hey. I'm expecting Pernasek or his corpse. Oh, is it Pernasek? Uh, okay, what have we got here? One side of the overturned vase is splotched with crimson. Someone has gathered sheets and towels into a makeshift bed and rumpled fabric is stiff with blood and unwashed sweat. And then Pernasek, hello. A man lies, bound and bloodied on the floor before you. His face is a tapestry of bruises. Blood is splattered across several corners of the room. The man cringes and sobs as you approach. Gods, please, no more. I can't take no more. I'm not here to hurt you. The man pauses and gazing up at you. You're, you're not. Oh, praise Barath. You're not one of his men, are you? He glances nervously behind you. Ah, he shakes his head. Please, I don't know who you are, but my name is Pernasek. This is my house. You have to help me. Then who was that downstairs? An imposter. Some wizard named Nyrad. He came into my house, tied me up here, tortured me. And now, now he and his men are eating my food, breaking my things, selling stuff. Inside my own house. He blinks. He just turned up all of a sudden? Pernasek looks away, unable to meet your gaze. I may have hung onto a tiny portion of my supplies here, but I need that money. Uh, so what happened? He sent over the wizard, Narat, the man downstairs. Pernasek shudders. To make it lost copper, I guess. To try and hurt me while he was at it. It feels like it's been days. I've taken care of him. Pernasek stares at you. I can't believe this nightmare is finally over. He grins weakly, then seems to remember something. You have no idea what you've done for me, but... Pernasek, he looks up at you and away again. You need to find my love, Kenma. Only, only after what Narad put her through. I'm afraid she won't give me a chance to explain. But she might listen to you. Please, she must be somewhere in Copper Lane. It's the only home she knows. Uh, well, we know where that is. Um. Okay, so we can try and intimidate him, which doesn't seem like someone we care about at all. Oh, alright, there's more, he has more to say. 
And please, don't tell about the staff. About what I do. I can make it worth your while. Discount, maybe. Um... I think we're going to just tell him that uh, Kinra sent uh, me here in the first place. She did. Perisic smiles brightly. That woman helped save my life without realizing it. Please, bring her home and tell her everything is back to normal. I'll go talk to her, at the very least. I can't thank you enough, truly. Oh, how I've missed my Kinra. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to her. Uh, also, we can rest at the inn. Uh, okay. Out here we go. Ooh, loot, 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 loot. Um, ooh, wow. He had gold on him. Uh, we should also head back to our dungeons after this. Because he should be in our dungeons. Okay. You're from Gilded Vale? Then you're close to home. <laughs> Close can mean a lot of things. Surely you'll go back when this is all over. Dunno. Guess that all depends. Okay. Uh, let's head into the inn. All right. Hello, hey, old traveler. Um, I am looking for a room. Okay. Let's talk to Kenra. Hello. Kenra looks up as you approach. What happened with Pernasek? Did you give him the ring? Um, okay, I think we have to tell the truth. We're not going to lie. Pernasek was being imprisoned by a powerful wizard. However, the real Pernasek deals Seth. She covers her mouth with her hand, shot. Pernasek! My Pernasek is a Seth dealer? If I didn't know you for an honest man. She brings her fist down on the table, sloshing her drink. Damn it, how can I trust him after something like this? He's lied to me for this long. She runs her hands through her hair, takes a deep breath. I should just be glad I found out about this before the wedding. Um, you know what? Well, we'll 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 try we'll try and bring in some love here. He still loves you. Do you really want to, uh, to get? Do you really want to give up on your future together? Uh, maybe she'll turn him around. Perhaps you're right. If he's willing to give it up, we can work this out. Seems worthwhile to give him a chance anyway. I mean, he's probably learned his lesson from uh, being imprisoned upstairs by a wizard. Uh oh, and take this. She unclasped something from her neck. Picked it up from the merchants to help me stand firm in my decision. I'll be fine without it now. Oh, we got an unwavering resolve. I guess that's some sort of amulet. Cool. A whole bunch of XP. Um, oh, and we got this uh, stronghold finished. Nyrad. I found Nyrad in Copper Lane, a hired thug impersonating a Seth dealer who owed a debt to a supplier. He is using the identity to sell Seth and thereby recoup the supplier's loss. And we can release him if we want. No. Hey. But, I do think we want to go talk to him at the very least. I am assuming we can talk to him, right? Because if we can't talk to him, that's just a little bit. It's like, you can put them in your prisons, but you can never see them again. I don't know. Seems a bit odd. Speak to the messenger in your great hall at Cade Nua. Oh, interesting. And of course, the walls are all starting to be finished now. Which is quite nice. This should look a little bit more impressive. Okay, cool. I think this is the right way in? Yeah, it's a bit mossy. I bear a message from the Ducal Palace. Greetings, my lord. I bear an urgent message from the Chancellor Warren of Defiance Bay. He requested me to make your earliest, earliest convenience in the Ducal Palace. Your claim on Cade Nua has been called into question by the Gapthin family. Earl Vadmar has issued a ruling on the matter, but both you and Lord Gapthin must be present. Who is Chancellor Warren? He's an arbiter of legal matters for Earl Badmar of the Grasp. Tell me about this Lord Gapthin. An old Adyrian line lineage, I believe. He looks around the Great Hall. The former lord of the stronghold, a distant relative of Lord Gapthin, allied himself losing side during the War of Defiance. Cade Nua is mine. The Gapthin family disagrees, as your claim is not based on lineage, an official ruling is required to remedy this, this dispute. Okay, I'll go meet him then. The Chancellor awaits you in the records room of the Ducal Palace in the first fires. Messenger bows and strides away. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Now, do we know where the dungeon... Oh, yeah. Perfect. We know where the dungeons are. So, in theory, we should go down here and see our new uh, person. Oh, we have a jailer. Hello. Greetings. Greetings, my lord. I'm here to maintain the cells for you. 
Should you take any prisoners in your travels, I'm sure they'll be tended as you see fit. Do you have any instructions for me? What do you want done to these prisoners? Uh, I don't need anything at the moment. Yeah, we'll be nice to them. Alright, there's no prisoners in there. We have a prisoner. Uh, I just don't know which cell we put him in. There we go. Hello. It was a good plan. Until you... Uh, it's a good plan, you have to admit. Until you turned up, anyhow. Oh. Okay. Um. Fine, then. Well. Yeah. You, you, you just keep being a jailer. We'll... we'll Come back here never, probably. You know, I'm starting to think that actually the, um, like, if you have them all in your prison, in your dungeon, there might be a quest later, here's my theory, where they all get released and you have to fight everyone who you've imprisoned. I don't know. That's my, that's my theory anyway. Um, how, how close are we to completing this thing? Two days. Okay. Oh, apparently our defenses are down. Our security is just so far down. What happened? So let's have a look at here. Blake called bandits attacked the stronghold. Main keep was destroyed. Western barbicade was destroyed. Oh! Okay, so if we auto finish, it will just destroy things for us. And then we have to keep paying for it to be uh, rebuilt. Oh! Oh, well, that's awful. We should definitely manually resolve, I think, in the future. Um, so we can have a look at some of these places. So let's just head around here. So, no, this is the way out. There's a just car. And this one leads to Lundala's house. Who is Lundala? Which quest is that? Rogue Knight. So, Osric was kicked out. Um, told me some his things being kept in Crucible Keep. Uh, I learned about a plot. Okay, Long Hunt. So, we don't know who she is, I don't think. Uh, well, I guess we'll just head into her house in the middle of the night. No problem. Hello? Anybody home? This painting depicts the famous scene from the light of dawn in which the traveller and the ghost happen upon a starving man. Hello? Uh, we'll just pick up some of this stuff. Don't worry about it. Hello? We need a proper key. So this is definitely a you have to come back here later kind of place. Okay. Anything else around here? Doesn't look like there's any other doors to go into straight away. And then along this way, another door. Where's this lead? This leads to the Scrivener's Dormitory. Sure, who are you? Scrivener. Makes sense. Hello? Anybody here? Oh, books. Oh. I instantly just started stealing the books. Because I was like, books. Okay, so this is a, a Mag, Grand Nick, Benediction. Never let thy trials burn thee, for thy suffering shall thou be transformed. The ever-living flame will burn away thine impunities. Purification shall be thine, the fire of thy god shall be thy vessel. Seek not to clash, search not for conflict. These will find all in turn. The fires of strife will cons consume thee, but fear not the battle, fear not, fear not the war. Embrace the strife, but turn thyself from the struggle. Keep thyself strong against those who would batter thee. Keep thy soul fortified against the trials uh, that shall overtake thee. Fire, flame, and the searing heat of Magrim's fury, all these await the unfaithful, the weak, those that help not themselves. Take heart in thine strength. Take comfort in thine own power. Take comfort in thine own path. Let the fire guide you. Let the fire transform you. Let the fire purify you. Let the fire consume you. Sure, we'll have that. Durant has been caught stealing. Hey. Really? Uh, okay. Hello, people. Uh, this is stealing too. Okay. Can we sneak? Nice and quiet. Uh, we'll have that. Nobody was caught there. Okay, it must be because we weren't sneaking. I don't know what being caught stealing does. Shh. Okay. Well, just let's see what's in here. See what's in That'll here, do yeah. it. Uh, what's in here? Mushrooms? Uh, alright, so that's another drug. Mm, I'm not too worried about it. Hello, Corn. Welcome. By whale's faceless eyes, you are one short ogre. But why are you green? How are you getting the ducks to keep flying around you like that? 
Uh, what are you talking about? He must be high. Your ducks, your green skin. Should I speak louder, slower? Let me know. He beams at you and nods his head. You're a scrivener? Uh, yes, I am a scrivener. I read books, I write books. I once ate a book, but only because it looked like a sweet pie. Or perhaps it was a sweet pie baked in to look like a book. Interesting. Oh, 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 I'm also a collector of herbs, flowers, plants. I sell them. I mostly eat them. Tell me about the dormitory. It's where the scriveners who work at the Hall of Revealed Mysteries sleep. I'm a scrivener. This place smells like old stockings. Okay, what do you have for sale? Uh, okay, he sells general kind of drug stuff. Cool. Scrivener, scrivener, scrivener. Whole bunch of scriveners here. What's this? Uh, rancid stench rises from the basin. Dishes top of the pile are flecked with morsels of meat and cheese. Those at the bottom are covered in a slimy fuzz. So the scriveners don't do a lot of uh, cleaning. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Same same with uh, their blankets. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so we could head head up to the Hall of Revealed Mysteries. Um, I'm gonna skip the hall for just now because we're quite late in the episode, and we're gonna move along a little bit. Let's see what else we got? Refugees. Okay, hello. Nope, they're not gonna say anything to us. I just wanna have a look at the rest, and we'll leave ourselves at the Hall of Revealed Mysteries. You were so lovely back then, says person with no name, Dalton. Hello. The elderly man paces back and forth, taking short, hobbled steps. His gaze is distant, and beneath it are the dark rings of many restless nights. He appears to have been having a conversation with someone who isn't there. Oh, and the way you thought. Cutting down two at a time, we shared quite a victory, you and I. Who are, who are you talking to? The man looks up at you, startled. Oh, my, uh, by the flame. For just a moment, I thought I heard her. He puts a hand on his chest, catching his breath. What troubles you? Oh, just the memories of my youth in the North Watch Rangers. Trials and adventures from a lifetime ago. He shakes his head. Of late, the memory of lost battles and fallen friends has been especially vivid. Tell me about the memories. Oh, it's been nearly 60 years. We were known through the Deerwood then. We thought we'd adventure together forever, collecting copper's inspiring songs. The wrinkles around his eyes deepen. That was until we faced the Helic of Thien. He was a wizard whose experiments in necromancy left a trail of bodies. Some reanimated from Solus Vale to Midwood. We tracked him as he fled toward the Valian Republics, catching him just west of the Lake of the Drowned Tombs. We were fools, seasoned as we were. We were not prepared for his foul magic. Our numbers were nothing against his power. A wiser man would have ordered a retreat. Not me. By some curse of the gods, I was knocked out, and when I woke my rangers, my Rowana, they were all dead. He holds empty air in his arms. Who is Rowana? My friend, my comrade in arms, my love. We're planned and ventured together until we grew old to settle down and enjoy our fortunes. Young as we were, we couldn't imagine anything would tear us apart. I know this sounds like an old man's madness, but I hear her, a voice just over my shoulder, calling me in my dreams. At night, I see her wandering the catacombs beneath the city, trying to escape. Foolish as it sounds, I can't shake the idea that some... That she's somehow down there, waiting for me. I've even ventured below, though see damn near cost me my life. He hesitates. Were I half the warrior I was in my youth, I'd search every grave and rat hole. As it is, I'm stuck with this feeble body and the agonizing notion that my love is somehow down here beyond my help. You want me to chase a dream? It's more than that, I know it. My dreams are never more than faded memories, but this feels as real and as fresh as the conversation we're having now. If it's payment you're concerned about, I still have plenty of weapons for my old adventuring days. They're well made, and I'll serve you on the battlefield or at merchant's stall as you choose. I'll search for you. Tears spring in the old man's eyes. There's an entrance just north, south, 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 southwest of here, on the other side of the canal. He sniffs and wipes his eyes. You're truly a gift from the gods. If there's anything you can find of her. Hmm. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, that's the way to the catacombs. So, I think we're going to end the episode here, uh, outside the Hall of Memories, and then we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.